Now it's time to get things moving. We have established a global village community. We've given it an identity. We should have set up a community group on Facebook and WhatsApp and identified all the key stakeholders. Now it's time to get them all together for our first community meeting. And there are two key challenges for this. One, identify the venue, and two, to let everybody know about the meeting. In terms of the venue, the most important thing for the first meeting is to keep it informal. We don't want anybody to be intimidated by the venue that's being chosen. A local coffee shop, a room in a school or a building that has been put forward by a local business or a community group. Any kind of place that can accommodate a, a handful of people um, or more, depending on the reaction you get to your initial outreach. Uh, of course, we want to try to keep this community gathering cost free. Uh, and it may be worth asking local bar or hotel or restaurant if they'll put special deals on, for, you know, coffees and teas and so on uh, for the community gathering. It's good for them and it's good for you to host uh, a, a meeting for the community in their building. Either way, making sure that it's comfortable, flexible and accommodating. These are the characteristics we need to choose for our first community meeting. So the next challenge is to understand how we get people along to the meeting. And of course, having established a Facebook community group, that has to be our starting point of action. Facebook is a phenomenal tool to engage local communities in understanding what is going on in their community. So we can use that Facebook group to make posts, to share knowledge and information. And also you can use posts that are shared within existing community groups on Facebook to let them know about the first gathering. We should also think about engaging other means of communicating within the community. This could be flyers that are distributed door to door or put up in local shops um, and local offices. This could be uh, engaging local media. If you have access to a radio station or community newspaper or local newspaper, these can be powerful ways to communicate the launch of the Global Village to everybody within your community. The most important thing is to make sure that the venue, the location, the timing, the agenda, everything about it is set so that when people turn up, we meet and hopefully exceed their expectations.